what's going on everybody it's Eric Ray with it back here and in today's video I'm gonna be giving you my five best things about Madden 20 and my five worst things about Madden 20 this is how I like to do my Madden reviews taking the five things that I feel are the most enjoyable about the game and then taking the five things that I feel need the most work or just didn't deliver the way I expected them to in order to help you guys form you know a decision on whether or not you want to buy the game this year now if you are new to the channel and you do want to stay up to date on Madden news or Madden tips throughout the year make sure to subscribe turn that bell on also I will be giving away a couple copies of the game on social media I did get a few codes to give away so here are my social medias up here on the screen not sure if I'm going to give them away on both Instagram or Twitter or just one or the other yet I haven't decided but I will be posting later today so if you do want to enter for a chance to win a copy on either system make sure to follow there and later today I will be posting about how you can enter that giveaway so let's get right into the video now number one uh, the abilities in the game this year by far my favorite thing about the game you know after playing it for a while they have the superstar abilities and the x-factor abilities this is the most fun thing about the game by a mile I think it's the biggest selling point about the game I think coming in a lot of us thought that the face of the franchise would maybe be the biggest selling point but I think it, it really is the abilities because it has changed the game it makes the game so much more fun to play specifically when you're playing regular teams because before it was kind of bland whereas in ultimate team you could put kind of these abilities on players and make players feel special or unique and you couldn't get that when playing regular teams or when playing in franchise mode now you can do that it really you know has made these players feel unique the best players in the league now actually feel like the best players in the league and they don't feel the same as everybody else it's you know and it's fun to use players that, that fit your play style that can do what they do best some of the abilities definitely work better than others some might be a little overpowered for sure but they're all a ton of fun to use and they make this game just much more fun to play and not as just boring as it kind of has been for the past couple years and it goes across all modes which I think this is the, the biggest thing about the game because it's a plus for everybody whether you play franchise regular play now or you play ultimate team it's there for all the modes and it's just a lot of fun to use number two on the list is definitely the player motion the real player motion 2.0 because what was introduced last year in Madden 19 you know had a lot of kind of you know kinks in it it didn't really work the way they wanted it to it was not polished this year it is one of the best things about the game just how smooth and responsive the game is has really made this game so much more fun to play because the last few years I felt there were too many times where I didn't have control whether I was carrying the ball or whether I was clicking on and trying to make a play I felt like my guys would dumb out I wouldn't have you know able wouldn't be able to just click on and do what I wanted to do with the player and this year that is definitely back it's there and that's really good from separating good players you know from great players or bad players to average players the guys that actually know how to take advantage of that responsiveness and the smoothness of the game and honestly when it comes to sports games that responsiveness that player movement is such a big chunk of the game if the movement in that locomotion isn't good it's not going to be fun to play a sports game and that's a big thing that really hampered Madden 19 and it is so much better in Madden 20 it's the best player movement we've had in a very long time without a doubt Number three on the list, career mode is back. Now, this is actually a very interesting one because when I get to my five worst things, I'm going to actually talk about the career mode in that section as well because it's not all good. But the fact that it is back, I think, is still a plus for the game, and it has some really cool things that come along with it. You do get to play college ball. You have 10 college teams that you can choose from, so you get that feel of playing back in college again. The cut scenes are very well done, most of them at least. Some of them don't always you know particularly fit maybe exactly what your player's doing but most of them do most of them are fun uh the story elements of it are very well done uh the creation tools that come with the career mode are really good you can finally make a player that looks like yourself not sure why that hasn't been in madden for the past decade but for whatever reason now it's that is back too and you can actually really make a player that looks almost exactly like yourself and custom customize him to a t which is really enjoyable and if you're a player that plays career mode every year in Madden, which there are a lot of players that do that, you're going to like this career mode much better because you get that pre-draft stuff, the cutscenes, and you get to make someone that looks like yourself. And then you do get the scenario engine that goes along with it. So once you're in franchise mode, kind of just playing the regular career mode again, the scenario engine at least helps drive some of it and gives you certain decisions to make, certain things that you can choose to work on and things like that. Personally, I, I would like to see the scenario engine be a little bit better. I know that they're going to keep updating that throughout the year 
at launch of the game it is a little bland for sure but it definitely does add a little something more to career mode so all in all career mode is a plus for being back and being a step above what long shot was and what the old career mode was but in a minute we'll kind of revisit this and talk about some of the things that it's not you know so great about it number four best thing about Madden 20 for sure are the playbooks my god they did a great job with the playbooks this year they added tons of new plays they overhauled certain playbooks like the Raiders playbook is so different this year and it's one of the best in the game might be the best honestly in my opinion the Cardinals playbook has been completely redone has new formations with Cliff Kingsbury coming in uh, and just some other playbooks the Rams playbook has had a big overall heading adding a lot of the single back stuff that they run the RPOs in the game are a lot of fun to use and they they work pretty good for the most part there's a couple that are buggy but for the most part for this being the first year that they implemented RPOs they work really good and they really open up offense the new jet sweep plays and things like that some of the trick plays that they added just it's a lot of extra fun and more that you can dive into and really actually you know create different types of schemes and offenses whereas the last few years it kind of got bland there was only so much you could do now it's really wide open and they're going to keep updating them throughout the year they said that's one of the biggest things they're going to do this year is updating the playbooks with new plays so this should only get better as the year goes on and last but not least the fifth best thing about madden 20 and this might be controversial to some people is the gameplay now, when I say that the gameplay is one of the best things about Madden 20, that does not mean that it doesn't have issues. There's still a lot of issues that are still there. Same legacy issues with certain things like blocking, uh, you know, certain things on defense that are still issue. There's still warping that happens. There's definitely still times where animations can override the play. But in terms of what the gameplay has been in Madden, for this entire generation and I, I could even go back even at the end of last generation because I don't really believe that you know Madden 25 had the best gameplay Madden 13 gameplay was okay Madden 12 was okay the last time I felt like Madden gameplay was great was like Madden 10 and this year it is just so much better than it has been in previous years you can tell that for the cycle they had to work on this game that they put a lot of work into cleaning up the gameplay again is it perfect no it's not close to perfect is it still without its issues not at all but you can see the jump from the last few years like the animations are a lot better even though they still have problems at times the blocking is a little better even though you still have blocking issues at times uh, like I said, the player movement goes hand in hand with this, how good it is. You know, the pass rush has been tuned up to be more realistic. So now you can't sit back there all day and hit deep routes every single play because good pass rushers are going to be on you quick like they should be. The throwing animations and the releases of the QBs, the trajectories, all of this is a huge step forward. Still need to work on the trajectories a little bit, like in terms of throwing red zone fades. Still can't really do that. But the fact that you can drop the ball into those tight, you know windows now and things like that it's so much better the linebackers can't you know jump up in the air and snatch the ball 10 yards in front of you anymore which is one of the biggest pain points like all in all the run game is so much better this year just the gameplay while still far from perfect is just so much better than it has been and if you're a person that plays madden every year you know like i do nine ten months out of the year you know i can speak to the gameplay and say it is undoubtedly better and moving much so in the right direction even though it still has a lot of stuff it still needs to attack and clean up but a lot of people don't play the game every year they just watch people that break down the flaws of the game or you know they just watch other people play the game maybe break down money plays and they say oh the game is just so bad but if you play this game every year you can attest to how much better it actually has gotten this year even though it still has its issues so those are my five best things now let's get into the five worst things so number one we're going to go back to the face of the franchise, you know, the career mode. For me personally, it's still just, it wasn't, there wasn't enough to it. And the way that they kind of sold it, I, you know, I was hyping this up. I was like, man, I am so excited for this. And yes, I had fun playing it. I played through it a couple times doing two different types of kind of scenarios with it. And it was fun. It's really fun to play college. It's really fun to go through some of these cutscenes and to give some of the answers that you give. But from how they described it, maybe maybe it was me just assuming too much, but I thought it would be a little bit more there. Like the combine, for example, wasn't really a combine. There's no 40 yard dash. There's no drills. There is no bench press. All you do is just throw like 20 passes. It's basically almost like going through a skills trainer, not a combine at all. They said that you would interview with like a lot of GMs and stuff like that. You interview with two GMs and it's like, 
from what I've seen, it's you get the same two questions no matter what. Like you can't get different types of cutscenes where you're interviewing with different teams. Didn't really like that. And then some of the cutscenes that are you know happening in between your story, they don't really pertain to how your player's performing. For example, your player could be performing bad, but you're still being talked about like you're this like crazy phenomenon that's just popped up out of nowhere and you're about to take the league by storm. And you know. Like I said, maybe I'm nitpicking, but I just thought it would be a little bit better, a little bit more in depth. I do think the ceiling is sky high for this, and from what I have heard, they have plans to really make this great, but it's just really not there yet. And if you, if you're a guy that plays career mode every year, you're gonna like this better than what you've been playing. But if you're waiting for something to be like an NBA 2K My Player type of thing, this is still very far from that. And I thought it would at least be a little bit closer. Not, even, not close to that, but a little bit closer than it was for Madden 20. Number two on the list of the worst things is franchise mode is still very much the same. Yes, you have the Pro Bowl added back, which is fun, but it gets old quick, right? That's like the biggest thing about franchise this year was everybody wanted the Pro Bowl back. And I think if people would have complained about other issues more than the Pro Bowl, they could have actually got something in franchise mode this year. They could have actually made the depth of franchise mode better because no matter how much fun it is to play the Pro Bowl, after you play it a couple times, you're kind of just tired of it. The Pro Bowl doesn't really add depth to franchise mode. It's just something that should be there if you want to play it. But adding that back was a big thing that took time and because of that they weren't really able to add a lot of other more things to franchise mode and I think it would have been better if people were complaining about more important things but you know that's there the scenario engine definitely is cool for franchise mode again it's a little bit bland at launch but I think it's going to get better through the updates it's going to have live updates this year uh, but it definitely adds a little bit more flavor to it the contracts are better they're going to be adding fifth year options and an update as well so all those things are good but as an overall mode it doesn't feel too much different than what you've been playing the last couple years it's still very far off from the glory days and that's really where it needs to get to it needs to get closer to that and if you're a hardcore franchise guy and you haven't been playing madden for a few years and you're waiting for it to get there i don't really think 20 is quite there yet though it is better than it has been for the past few years uh, number three worst things about Madden 20 is the no huddle. I hate the no huddle this year. You can literally no huddle and snap the ball in like three seconds flat. Everybody just lines up. You have to wait three seconds. That's all the defense gets to adjust. I think it's too much of a disadvantage for the defense because it's not realistic in most situations to be able to no huddle and hike it that quick. If it was more like five seconds, that would be better. I think that's an adjustment they should look into making because the no huddle right now is honestly something that's just more annoying than fun. Like... It's just, it's not, it, it's just too quick. It's, it's a little unrealistically quick in my opinion. Number four, worst things about Madden 20 is to me, the AI is still, you know, lacking in a lot of areas. Now for me personally, this doesn't bother me as much because the type of player that I am, I want to click on and make all the plays myself. My user control, I feel can override bad AI most of the time but for people that don't play that way or people that just like to play franchise mode you know the ai is a very important thing because you're relying on a lot of players to do what they're supposed to do in terms of blocking yes it improved a little bit but the ai is still really weird when it comes to blocking sometimes they just you know don't target the right people or they kind of just stand there and do nothing sometimes uh you know the ai for zone defense i feel like kind of took a step back although man defense is much improved so if you like man defense you'll like it but if you like running zone specifically again if you're a franchise mode type player you're gonna find it hard to stop people if you're not getting good pass rush on the quarterback and yes the pass rush is better so that helps but you know just just a lot of areas of the game where I think the AI I don't need the AI to be anywhere close to perfect I don't want that at all I think that would actually be bad if the AI was too good but it it, it still needs to be a little bit better than it is and it definitely there's certain times in the game where you see it and you're just like it's this is just an eyesore this is bad and the fifth worst thing about the game is that the immersion is still is still lacking in a big way now me personally the immersion doesn't bother me that much because i'm more about just getting online and playing as my opponent that's just that's what i like about the game i don't care as much about the immersion but i do understand how important it is to the game for most people and even there's there's times where i see things that i'm just like it might be something in the in between of a play and i'm like man that's just an eyesore like I'm sure they could do something better with this. You know, the sidelines, of course, are still generic players. They took the refs out the game, which again, this doesn't bother me, but I know it bothers a lot of people. Um, you know, and just between plays sometimes, it looks like players kind of just wander around still, you know, they, like, like they have no purpose. And it, it's just an eyesore. Like it's things that I feel like could be better. 
uh, and should be better hopefully in the future but if you're a guy that's big on immersion they didn't really do too much this year outside of some sideline interactions that they did sprinkle a little bit of that in which is cool to see like between plays or after touchdown sometimes they'll cut to the sideline you might see a player throwing a tantrum because he's mad or you'll see a couple players like discussing strategy or you know players like kind of aggravated at each other because like the defense broke down or something of that nature those things are cool to see I think we need more of that in the game because that just makes the game look better and it just it makes it look like at times you're watching a real game but in terms of overall immersion yes it's still lacking in a big way and I really hope especially making our way into next gen that that is something that they can tackle now those are my five best and worst things all in all I'm enjoying Madden 20 much more than I have the past few Maddens it's still early things can change but I'm enjoying the game I think for its flaws and the areas that it lacks it, it, you know even gameplay wise I think it's a very balanced game with you know a game that rewards user control and that is what I look for in a sports game but franchise career mode still lacking immersion still lacking and the AI still I think should be better and that's really just my overall review of the game um, I would always recommend you rent it before you buy it and see for yourself don't take my word for it don't take anybody's word for it because we all judge the game through our own lens we all have different things that are make or break for us so I would always recommend renting it for a couple bucks trying it out for a day or two and you can kind of get a feel for if it's worth your money or not so that's it for today hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did as always like comment subscribe and I will see you guys next time